Hello everyone, Muhammad Mustakim from Smart English Club. And in today's lesson, I'm going to be sharing some useful tips with you that would help you grow your English vocabulary. All right, ready? Let's get started. The first tip presented for you is learn while reading. Well, this is one of the important and striking features that can help you in the process of building your vocabulary. Make sure that when you're writing an English text or an English article or an English passage, try to read the sentence carefully. Then you can find out the meaning exactly. For example, here is a sentence for you. You must follow your timetable. If you continue to differ, you will surely miss the deadline. Now, here, uh, actually, we don't know the meaning of differ. And let's say we don't know the meaning of differ. So by looking at the structure of this sentence carefully, you can find out what exactly differ means. So you must follow the timetable, otherwise you will miss. So here, the meaning of this particular word differ is to put off or to delay. So you can find out the meaning just by looking at the, at the structure of the sentence very, very carefully. You can figure out what that particular word means. Let's move to second tip, and that's word repetition. Well, research says you must keep constant repetition. When you're learning a new vocabulary, try to use it in different sentences, contexts, and situations. Use it multiple times, 10 to 20 times by using in different sentences. Or simply keep a diary with you or just, or just a page with you. In case you forget, you can check time to time just to make sure you're not missing any word. And remember, if you can't learn 50 words per day, but you can definitely learn three to five words in a day. And just imagine, you can, you can, you can make addition of nearly 1,000 to 1,500 words into your dictionary or vocabulary per year. 1,500 words, oh my God, that's a big thing. That simply means you're going from strength to strength and building your English vocabulary up. All right, the third tip for you is keep a dictionary hand. Even though you're good enough, you're having lots of words, you know, many, many words, but this is very important and very, very necessary that you keep a dictionary hand with you. You can have a smartphone. In smartphone, you can actually install any dictionary, any standard dictionary. But I recommend you Oxford Dictionary because that's one of the standard dictionaries around. So uh, if, if you get confused in case you can, you can look up for the dictionary to find out what exactly that particular word means. 44 years, play around. Oh yeah, just while reading, you can have a bit of fun too. When you're in the process of developing your English vocabulary, you can have some fun too. You can play Scrabble game, you can play Boggle game, you can play crossword puzzles. These are very, very useful. These actually sharpen your memory and let you find out and learn new words, new unique words. Right? Right? All right. The next uh, number five tip for you is use WhatsApp. Well, uh, in the latest, uh, in the latest uh, technology time, where technology is uh, developing and technology is so fast, you can, uh, you can actually take maximum benefit of it. You just create a WhatsApp group and you can give the service to your friends and you can name it word of the day. By this method, you can improve you can uh, learn new unique words and let your friends learn new words too. And you can make practice of it by using in different sentences, in different contexts and different passages, right? And the sixth final tip for you is write up. Oh yeah, that's one of the, one of the important uh, 
one of the important features of uh, developing your English vocabulary when you're a neophyte going through this long and inexorable process. Write up. If you don't have the habit of writing words, then just make it your habit. Or if you are actually having habit of writing, then just increase and enhance the time of writing. You can write anything. You can write uh, like... Uh, I can say you can write a journal and in journal you can see the difference day by day you're using new words you can see a meaningful development a huge huge development in your English vocabulary and in the journal that you write daily or you can write a blog right you can then uh, obviously share it with different kind of people where you can write down your experiences your thoughts your ideas your feelings by this method i can say you can you can in very very short span of time you can master english vocabulary that's for sure i can say and i'm pretty confident you will succeed in doing this and you would be uh, the master of English vocabulary. All right, that's it for today's lesson. Hope this lesson helps you in building your English vocabulary. Thanks for watching and best of luck with your English vocabulary.